Hello, hamster gang. So welcome back to Saxon channel. Oh my god, 2019 since January. It's been so crazy. So first of all, the first uh, one or two weeks, I was very frustrated because I was way behind the schedule for my YouTube video. Because that miniature stuff that I'm working on right now is taking forever. While I was working on the miniature, I, I felt something dripping down on my ankle. So, well, I had surgery three months ago on my ankle and it never healed. So I, when I saw it, uh, there was some mixture of blood and um, clear liquid coming out from the wound. So I called my doctor who did the surgery and I was like, uh, my ankle is very juicy. I don't know what to do. And um, he said, I have to come immediately. So I went there on Thursday. So he called the the infection doctor and he made an appointment for me. So I went there on Friday. And she, uh, the doctor, the infection doctor looked at it and she was like, it looks really, really bad. Like really bad. I was like, what's going on? And what happened to my ankle? And she was like, it it's an infection and you have to go to ER right now. And I was like, ER? Do I have to chop off my ankle? And she was like, uh, maybe you have to get surgery today because it looks really, really bad. She told me to go to uh, this one hospital she recommended me to go there and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go there. So I went to ER right away with Mr. Lee. I called him to um, take me there because I was scared. I need somebody to hold my hand. You know what this is, Mom? And I, I, it was so painful. So they gave, they injected some, I don't know what they call um, medicine. Like it's like painkiller, but it makes you also high. I'm recording. You're recording. Mhm. Mm what am I gonna say? I look beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's four o'clock. We'll see what the doctor says, and then we'll ask her how to get you fed. Okay. They'll probably bring you food. I feel like they feed you. Oh. Mm. I'm recording again. I'm in the hospital. Look. Oh. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I look beautiful. <laughs> oh, I feel so dizzy. No. So at seven o'clock, they wanted to contact my contact the surgeon who did the surgery, which is my my doctor. And he called me. He said I shouldn't be there. I should. I'm at the wrong hospital or something. I was like, what? What's, what's wrong? You can't come down. Cause I didn't know. I didn't know the hospital system. And he was not able to take care of me. But I was like, I was like, I did all the blood work done. I I got my X-ray done. And then he was like, Well, you have to come to my hospital and it was my first time on the ambulance it was so cool <laughs> got there I moved to different hospital and I had to do another blood work and they did um, MRI so my my doctor looked at MRI oh it's blurry Okay, doctor looked at my MRI result and he said um, the infection didn't spread all the way into the bone or joints, thankfully. So it was just, the surgery was about just cleaning off the 
uh, the the infected area, just the um, some muscle tissue or something. So before the surgery day, I was getting some antibiotic from the IV, and my arm it was so swollen like balloon. I couldn't like make fist like this. My hands were like ah oh, ah. Oh. They thought it was because of the IV from other hospital. So they took it out and tried to put another IV, but they couldn't do it. Like they couldn't put IV into my arm. They poked my hand. It, it was everywhere. They poked my arms. They, they literally stabbed me with IV needle about... I think it was 14 times total. Each attempt, they they did not just poke me with the IV needle. They poked me and they were searching for the vein underneath of my skin. It was like hell. It was like torture. So they sent all those professional people who are professional at IV needle and they all failed and there was no hope. Lastly, these Asian group from ER, they wanted to try and I was like, no, no more IV needles, please. Just go away. And I, I just scared them away. <laughs> but, they were, but they were like, oh, you still, you need to get this IV so you can get antibiotic and I was so scared I was in so much in I was in so much pain I was so sweaty it was like tsunami going on underneath of my armpit so next day I was very worried because it was the surgery day and I need that IV needle installed on my arm and I was like am I getting another IV and then he was like yeah it's okay don't worry about it I can see like big fat juicy blood vessel in you right here on your arm and I was like okay um try not to poke around too much please because I had nightmare yesterday and then he was like oh don't worry he has so much confidence and bam Less than one second, he did it. I was like, oh my god, thank you. The surgery went great. There's nothing wrong anymore. But then I had to insert um, the pick line. This is yellow socks that I got from hospital for free. I just cut the end to make it into a sleeve so I can cover it up. So here's the pick line. There's a hole right here. They inserted um, a long tube here that goes all the way to my chest. It's located right next to where my heart is. So every time when they put a lot of um, a huge amount of like medicine, I can feel some liquid coming into my body. It feels a little weird. I came back home, I called Chili from like far distance and she replied, she was like, chirp, 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 chirp. I went into my room and she saw my ankle and she was just staring at it for a long time. Before I went to the ER, she was kind of worried about my ankle. Like she knew I was in pain for like a couple days and like she didn't want to leave for a long time. Like she didn't want to leave my shoulder the whole time. She is so cute. She cares about me so much. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much for listening to this crazy story. Uh, please subscribe to Saxon channel if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up. I might not be able to upload videos.
for a while because um, I'm I'm incapable. I'm not allowed to do anything. Like I literally just sit down, either watch TV or just chill with chili in my room. I hope I can um, recover soon so I can start making stuff and upload videos more often. So yeah, please pray for me. <laughs> Bye-bye.